weeks ago, we had launched the Artigo A1100. Uh, it's a DIY PC kit that allows enthusiast users to make their very own compact PC. Um, and using this kit today, I'm going to show you how, how it all works, how it all fits together. I'm going to build uh, an A1100 based system on Windows XP with all the trimmings. Okay, first of all, let's see what you get in the package. Here we have a chassis. It comes in a nice bag. Protected. So there he is. Here you get okay, this is your power brick, power cables, and underneath here you're getting your driver CD and instruction. Now, as well as the chassis and cable that we already have here, you're also going to have to buy your own RAM. This is 2 gigs. This is a DDR2, an SO DIMM right here. This is a solid state drive. I'm going to use a solid state drive as opposed to a regular 2.5 inch hard drive. Um, this one is provided by Memorite. It's a 32 gig SSD. It's actually a military or industrial grade SSD. And as well as that, we've got two module kits here. This is a wireless module, this is an SSD card module, and we're going to add those too. Um, these are, can both be purchased separately from the same channels as you get your Artigo A1100. Put in the box for the first time here. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to do, I want to install the wireless card reader. Now, the Wi Fi card. It's right here. Okay. So now to really to really get into the uh, the heart of things, we need to remove the front panel, which we do like so. Now we're also going to take away this cover here which makes it far easier for us to install both the SD card reader and the wireless LAN modules. Pops out, like so. Now to make things even easier, as you can see here you've got the, this is a SATA cable which we'll use a bit later, so we'll take that away for now. And here is the SATA power cable again. This just pops out, we can put those back later. And uh, here you can see attached to the chassis for the LEDs and for the on switch, we have these jumpers here again. I'm just going to remove those just for the time being. And even this guy, this is the, the one fan in the whole system is, is attached to the chassis there. So we'll, we'll remove that also. That gives us a little bit more space to work with here. Now what we want to do is we want to get the SD card reader snugly into this position right here so that he can be accessed very easily from the side. We'll take this away so you can see this is where the SD card The SD card reader is, very, is, is actually quite easy. You just, it attaches here and then we have one more cable which attaches here and this is, this is possibly the only place it can go so it's actually quite straightforward. Okay, now to hook up our wireless module, of course, we're going to have to also attach our antenna. And the antenna goes just here, so we can pop this out. This we do not need anymore. Like so. This is the, uh, so, we're, so what we're doing here is we're essentially grounding the, uh, this wireless aerial. This attaches to the inside, like so, there you go, like so. Okay, now we can put this cover back.
Okay, now finally, we attach the antenna to the wireless module. That just clips on, like so. Last but not least, we're going to add our SSD drive. And we do that first of all, it's going to live right inside here. Fits in, like so. Okay, so attaching your drive here, you notice there's a small arrow. You can see that there. So you want to line that arrow up. And a good thing about the SSD drives is you don't have to be too careful with them. They're pretty much, uh, well, not quite indestructible, but they're very, very strong compared to regular drives. <clears throat> here we are about to put the lid back on. We just attach the serial ATA. Uh, <clears throat> data and power cables like so and very carefully once it's all in there we take the one remaining screw that we have left We add our two gigs of RAM, which fits in. As snug as that. Okay, and here he is, complete with wireless module, SD card reader, and of course our SSD, our solid state hard drive. Now, I'm going to load Windows 7. Now, thanks to uh, Maximum PC, you can go and you can learn how to put Windows 7 onto a USB stick. This is my 8 gig stick here, right? Oh, I'm just going to attach it like so. It will automatically boot from USB because it doesn't find an operating system anywhere else. And away it will be. So I'm using Windows 7 in a matter of minutes.